Hi guys, today I am doing a pet peeve video. I have a few written down because I know I forget them. I've got a few like props of things that annoy me because they are my pet peeves. Um, yeah. Okay, let's start a few from the list because I've already forgotten everything. Oh, one is when there was a random plug. There was nothing plugged into it, it's just the socket. Someone has left it plugged on, like turned on. Why would you do that? What's the point in that? Yeah. Um, men on public transport who want to sit with their legs so far apart that you just cannot sit anywhere near them or they have their leg like in the gangway. So you try to walk past and you have to sort of like step over their leg. No, that's way too intimate. And I want to be anywhere near that situation. There's, or if it's like in a four-seater, they'll be have their legs way spread apart so you can't sit opposite them because you're like between their legs. Why would you do that? Ugh, men. Um, when someone uses something up and doesn't replace it, i.e. toilet roll, milk, um, just anything really, um, when you know you've used it up and you don't replace it, I am... Um, really the main person who does that in my house I forget basically but then I get a nag for it and it's not my fault but I do find it very irritating if someone else does that to me so I'll work on that um when you're at an event like a birthday party or a meal and someone like tries to force you to eat or drink like you'll be having a meal and you'll order something and like you've left a little bit maybe because you're full or you just don't like that bit or you just don't want to eat it and they're like pushing you to eat it. Oh, I hate that. I've chosen not to eat it. Leave it. <laughs> or like, if your friends are all drinking and they're like, oh, Sophie, why are you drinking? <laughs> Leave me alone. I'll have one drink. It doesn't mean I have to get wasted. Yeah, that annoys me. Um, people use dug blah, blah, blah. double negatives. Is Oh, it's so annoying. Maybe that's just me being pedantic and using correct English. <laughs> um, by the way, my hair's straight. Woo um, when someone uses the butter or the jam or the peanut butter or anything that they put on bread and the knife gets crumbs on and they put it back in the tub and like Ugh. and like the butter is all covered in crumbs and oh I have different bread from my mum she has like special bread and I just have normal bread so I don't want two different types of crumbs on my food it's just weird uh, when you open a DVD case and the wrong DVD is in there what is that about who does that some like evil little munchkin comes along in the night, opens up all your CD cases, DVD cases, and switch them all around. No, keep them in the right one. <sighs> people. Um, when people are ill and they cough and they don't cover their mouths. Ugh, I'm ill at the moment, that's why I'm staying inside so I don't infect people. I just want to get better, I don't want to make anyone else ill. Um... When there's like a big table, like enough room for six people and two people sit on it and just take up the whole table, why would you do that? That's just inconsiderate. Oh, I find that so irritating. I just want to like sit on there with them and make them feel uncomfortable and make them move. <laughs> just me. Um, people who eat noisily, like um, either they're drinking a drink and out of the straw and there's nothing left and they're like, <laughs> and they're like slurping, oh. Or like they're eating and they're like, no, just no, it's disgusting. Um, okay, I'm on the bus and there is a seat next to me, empty, but also the rest of the bus is mostly empty and one person will come on and sit right next to me. What is that about? Why sit next to me? Um, people who annoy me doing that, but also, if the bus is quite busy and they sat next to me, I completely understand that, but if they sit, 
I'm facing forward and they sit with their back to me, I find that so rude. Like, I haven't asked to sit next to you. It's not my fault the bus is busy. Why is your back to me? I understand if they've got their back to me as someone else they're talking to, but they just sit there with their back to me like, ugh, I'm not going to look at this person. Ugh. It's just rude. Just push them off their feet. Put your feet up there instead. Rude people. Um, when people are in a public place, like at school or on a bus or anything, and they've got their phone and they're like, ooh, how cool is my phone? Playing music out loud. No. They're like, ooh, I'm so cool. Listening to music. Oh, my battery's dead. Look at that. Ugh. Depressing. Um, when someone's clearly upset and you ask them what's wrong and they're like, oh, nothing. And you're like, okay. So what the hell do you say to that? They're saying nothing's wrong. There clearly is something wrong. And they're just like, oh, nothing. And you, you have to be like, no, really, tell me. And then it's like you're bugging them. And then they get pissed off with you. Well, just tell me what's wrong then, you twat. Why would you do that? That's just, it's just annoying. Um, and I've finished my list. My list, my list. And I'm on to my props. First of all, a deodorant that leaves like the biggest white marks ever. What is that about? You shake it and everything, spray it on and it's like <laughs> white everywhere. I look like a snowman. Why would someone invent that? Why? Why? It's just... <sighs> Secondly, these little bags. I like it. I like the design. I like it's from Topshop. Nice little bag. But my purse is about the same size as it. Okay, and then my keys and my purse is like the only things that will fit in there. And then what the hell is the point in this? Like I get it, like as a clutch bag it would make sense, but it's not. It's like a it's like a handbag. I can't put anything in there. These are just silly. Silly. Um ooh. leggings or trousers or anything. They're literally you wear like twice and they get holes like along the inside of the leg. I will show you a pair that I have just been so shocked with. Look at that. I couldn't believe that and I've even tried to sew it up because I literally wore these twice and there were holes in them. Oh, I was so annoyed and obviously I've washed them and like taken the tags off and they've been worn so I can't return them. <sighs> okay, lastly, woolen jumpers. They're nice, they look lovely on the hanger. Then you put them on and they're like, firstly, they're fluffy as hell. So this is black, so if I'm wearing anything white, it's going to be fluffy. Secondly, they're the least flattering things ever. Literally, they make you look like ten times the size. Why would you wear something like that? Why does it exist? Look, at, look how big my shoulders look now. Why? And I'll show you. This is me with the cardigan, like that. This is me without. Why would you do that? And then also, they have these massive buttons and like huge buttonholes. No, they look ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I'll come up with some more things to moan about. Yeah, if I do, I'll let you know. Hope you enjoyed my video and bye!